Another sunny day. going to show uh, a few updates. I've been cleaning up. Still got a big mess. Tools from uh, rebuilding that engine. This extra wire is just an extension cord going from that battery bank to charging this car battery. Um, got the shelving unit, which is nice. I moved some stuff to it. My inverter here, controller there. Uh, charge controllers are not plugged in right now because my batteries are fully charged. Um, these read a little low, they're more like 12.9, um, I'm putting in 610 there and 556 here, and I got a, what is this thing, uh, a laser thermometer, and it always gets, this is only in 600 watts, it's winter time, it's about, Hovering around zero, I'd say. This is the warmest spot right here. So that's 30 Celsius, 86 Fahrenheit, at approximately 600 watts. 22. Yeah, that's the hottest point. And that is right there where the laser's pointing. That's where they have the temperature module for the fans that's where it's plugged in so they did a good job of at least uh, monitoring it where it uh, is the hottest check this side this side's fairly cool I think that's the output side and the other side's the input side uh, it's my guess because the input side is almost always hotter <coughs> yeah so I got 600 watts, and then since I last reset this thing, I put 30 and a half kilowatts into the grid. Um, what is this? Total working time, 783 hours. We've had a lot of cloudy days because it's winter here. It is very rare to have uh, sunshine. It's probably every week and a half or something we'll have about a day of sunshine, lately anyways. But uh, that's it. It's cool that it keeps a log of the working hours. Now I'm just gonna shut this off for a second and turn my charge controllers on and see what kind of power we're pumping in. Gonna jump up really quickly in voltage. It'll probably limit the power rate away so we won't see the full power going into the batteries, but yeah, I knew it. Jumped up right away and it's limiting the power. Where we'd be seeing more like 25 amps each. It's too bad. <laughs> Well, I'll switch it back. This is how I switch it back. This one's just hanging. I really have to mount it. I'm going to mount this to this stud. But I take this, this one, turn it, shuts that one off. So that just turned off. And this one's still running. And this one's on a DC circuit breaker. Turn that one off. Now there is no power being made by uh, the charge controllers. Off and off, and this switch, this switch uh, combines both strings of panels into one large group. So now all panels are in parallel. Let's see what I turn that. Then I can turn my grid tie on. <coughs> and back up. I'll show you if I unparallel my panels. I just unparalleled them. This is now just the 750 watts in the front roof, three 250 watt panels. And then I will parallel up again. Oh. 
Now it's all parallel it up. In the summer, this will double. I'm, I have to get most likely another one of these for summer to split half and half because um, I'm pretty sure I'll be put, outputting a lot more than this Chinese grid tie can handle and it will blow. So I will be getting another one. And that's my update. I want to take these and get them into this and have this area freed up again. I have uh, four across the bottom, two, one, and two. And uh, that should fit them all in there. <coughs> I'll look a lot neater. Maybe I'll get another one of these shelves, I don't know. And I'm going to clean up my table. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to see more videos and uh, hit the like, but like button. Thanks.